All right, hello everybody. I wanted to kind of create some videos for you to kind of go back and prep you for the final um, as a reminder so you can kind of watch these and go over them um, to, again, just as a reminder on how to access things and get things going in Photoshop. So firstly, when you open up your computer, generally speaking, you should see the Photoshop icon down in the bottom on your dock. If you do not, then you're going to go to this little happy face here called Finder. You're going to click on Finder. Then you're going to scroll down over here to where it says Applications. Click on that, and then you're going to search for Adobe Photoshop. Here I have it, so I'm going to double click it really quickly, double click again. And then now you see here that it's bouncing, so basically that just means that it's going to open up for you. And as we wait um, for that to open up, you'll see that you just have this gray screen here. And obviously we want to get a, a file open. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and go to File, New. And we're going to create a new file. So as we wait for that to load, I'm just going to call this Test. Um, generally speaking, you can go ahead and put the sizes in here of what you want. Um, eight and a half by 11, which is regular paper size. 300 DPI, which is the resolution, which means dots per inch. I'm just going to leave the color mode RGB because I'm not going to print this out. And I'm going to click OK. Now, you'll see all the things up here, and let me go over this with you. So this top part here would be the menu bar, okay? And whatever tool you select, let's say I pick the paintbrush, now suddenly you have all the options. So this would be the option bar for whatever tool you choose. This is the toolbar. When you come over here, let me scroll over here, on this side, this is the in-app search, so if you want to find something, you can. Um, the workspace menu would be here. Scroll down this, so you have a different um, options for what your workspace would look like. It changes depending on, you know, which um, application that you're, you're creating your image for. So is it for photography? Is it for the web? Generally speaking, it, by default, it usually starts with Essentials. And then lastly, you have your Panels or Windows over here. Um, if, for example, suddenly you're like, oh, I can't find what it is that I'm looking for, like let's say the layers wasn't here, you can go to Window and find out where that panel is that you were looking for, click on that, and then now your layers become visible. Okay, so that's just a general overall tool, I'm um, sorry, <laughs> overall uh, view of the bits and pieces to Photoshop. Next, I will go over some of the tools.